Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Web Whiz video number 27, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favorite mathematical websites. Now, a few Web Whiz videos ago, I did a feature on what I called the best of the maths blogs, and I collected together some of my favorites, put them on my website on the links to the best maths websites in the world page, and here they are there. Now, in that best of the blogs Web Whiz video, I just glossed over a few of them, but there's one of these blogs that over the last few weeks I've become a little bit obsessed with so I thought it was only fair to devote a WebWiz video to it because it is absolutely fantastic and it's this one here Median by Don Stewart now you can access it by clicking through on my website there but if you're looking for it direct if you just type his name in Don Stewart and you can chuck a Median in there to be on the safe side then there it is there Don Stewart give that a little click and here it comes now it's unlike any other blog I've seen this because there aren't any big long blog posts about kind of the philosophy behind the teaching or, or teaching ideas and stuff like that. It's just short, snappy resources and the variety and quality of them is absolutely unbelievable. And it just shows how good it is because I'm not now gonna go in and pick out some of my favorites. I'm simply gonna scroll down this the first page of the last few posts because they're absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look. The first one here uh, that came out Saturday 31st of March is this from, um, is Don has spotted this, an anatomy of economic inequality in the UK, um, and just dug out a few brilliant images from it. So if you just, uh, and there's a lot of the resources on this blog, by the way, are, are image based. So if you just click on them, it brings it up and then you can right click and save it or copy the image and paste it into a PowerPoint or something. But a just nice little star activity, pop that on the screen for the students and say, okay, come up with three comments about that. And interpreting statistical diagrams is a massive problem that, that students really struggle with, but something interesting and engaging like that might just hook them in. And that's just the first post. So we have a little scroll down here, unusual square roots pop that up as a little starter or have that up your sleeve in case any of your kind of top top ability students finish the work just give them out and just see what they make of it work out the square roots of that can they find the generalization generalization sorry what about cube roots now third post down here this is the one that i got a bit obsessed with there uh, coming up it was the last week before easter and um people were showing DVDs left, right and center and I'm not a massive fan of that. I always like to have a bit of an activity up my sleeve. And this one went down a treat with, with a wide range of ability of, of students. Give them a square, chop it up into that. And the challenge is how many different quadrilaterals can you make from it? And Don has kindly uh, put together the ones that he can make and challenge the students so then you can say, okay, name them, give me the properties of these. How many of them have a right angle in them? How many of them have lines of symmetry? Uh, which quadrilaterals can't you make? What shapes would you need to make them? And so on. The, the questions just fall out when you've got such a brilliant resource stimulus such, such as that. Then it just, and again, I'm just on the first page here. So scroll down a little Domino's number puzzle there, which is really, really nice. Uh, looking for efficient ways of counting up all the spots um, on a set of one to six dominoes and different techniques that the students might use. And there's all kinds of hidden number patterns in there. And then I'm just going to pause on these. These, these practice make perfect set. I mean, we're up to set four. So we're up to about 14 of these now. And they're absolutely brilliant, aimed at key stage three. And it's just different areas of mathematics. Now you can, I've used these for homework in the past and it's gone down quite well. Or again, it's just a starter, pop them up on the board. And those of you who are familiar with the, the thoughts and crosses uh, resources that we've chatted about a little bit, both on the TES resource of the week um, and other video series, will know that a good way of spicing up things like this is to play a little game of Connect Four or something with the students. So you can answer any four questions as long as they form uh, either a horizontal or vertical or diagonal row of four. So you've got differentiation built in there. But just simply to project them up on the board for, for starters or revision is absolutely fantastic. And honestly, th this website is just, it, it's absolutely phenomenal. There's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of resources. And I just love getting a post about it because you never know what you're going to get. Uh, last one I'll just mention is this one, which I really like, uh, a, a little game of boxes. And it can it just reinforces uh, in the student's head how to um, multiply things, how to divide things, and provides a lovely little introduction to ratio. So there's loads of stuff. Uh, Don kindly tags them all. So if on the right hand side here, if you know you've got a specific topic in mind, just search for it there and you'll probably find something. But I just like the almost random nature. And I don't mean that in a bad way, just the fact that you, you honestly, you just never know what you're getting. So it, the amount of quality maths blogs around at the moment is absolutely unbelievable. It's, it's a really rich, good time for maths 
to be a maths teacher I think with these quality of resources and this one medium by Don Stewart is absolutely phenomenal so there it is that's the web we web whiz video of the week and I'll be back with a fresh one and if you're on your Easter holidays this week I hope you have a lovely restful and relaxing time take care bye for now